Milo, listen to your grandma. I want you to come with me right now. We can't wait for your parents. This is happening everywhere. Pirates, looks like several bands, maybe more. They won't leave witnesses.
Hey, Sugar Pop, message incoming from the Terran Regional Representative. Tell the representative that I'm retired. The last thing I want to do is deal with a stuffed shirt. And, uh, don't call me Sugar Pop. Right. Oh, wise and powerful maker of universes. Listen, this call is coded emergency. Maybe we shouldn't just put her off. The trouble with stuffed shirts is that when they blow up, they make a terrible mess. Put the representative through. Mr. Corda, I know you are retired, but we need you to deal with a very sensitive, very secret matter. Why bother me? Surely you have people on your own staff who can deal with this, whatever it is. You are the ranking human specialist in both terraforming and the creation of pocket universes. You are the only person who may be able to solve a problem that could, without exaggeration, threaten the continued existence of hundreds of thousands of sentient beings. Please, continue. Within the last half year, two privately owned pocket universes, Herbs and Orins, have been shut down. Time, effectively, has ceased to function within them. We need you to restart the universes and find out who is responsible for these atrocities. Although you will be working for the old Terran government, we prefer not to admit to interfering with private universes. You would be on your own. That's a pretty tall order. You realize that the key for each pocket universe is a carefully hidden secret known only to the universe's designer. We do know. That's why we need the best. Are you saying that you cannot do what someone else already has? If it is any comfort, there will be a large fee. Trying to get my goat, lady? Fee doesn't matter. Not much, at least. I'll admit, I'm interested in this from a professional point of view. Is there anything you can tell me to get me started? Our research shows that the designer of herbs is named Charlie Bell. We have a contact number. You may wish to call him and see if he can give you a clue to the key of herbs. We can supply you with the coordinates for herbs and orbs. Beyond that, you're on your own. Yeah, I haven't seen Charlie in centuries. Yeah, maybe I'll check with him. Remember, you will need a supply of bottled time to function in stasis. I do know my job. I have some on board. Can I, uh, draw on your account for supplies to get started? Within reason. Does this mean you're on the job? Write up a contract. And, though I may be doing this because I want to know who's good enough to turn off universes, don't forget the zeros in the paycheck. Thank you, Mr. Corda. Contract will be forwarded. She's gone, Sugar Bob. Don't call me that. Renee Corda? It's been ages. How have you been? Pretty well, all things considered. Been living quiet since I retired, but uh, now I'm onto something rather fascinating. I picked up an odd bit of work. It has to do with a couple of pocket universes that have been put into stasis without the owner's authorization. You designed one of them. A place called Herbs. Yeah, I designed Herbs. Can't tell you who for, though. Professional ethics, right, old buddy? Did anyone come to talk to you about your work, say, within the last year? No, no one. And even if anyone did, I wouldn't say a thing. I remember the terms of my contract and the ethics of my profession. Easy, man. I'm not trying to get you barred from the union. Uh, listen, is there anything at all you can tell me that might help? Well... Since you're dealing with a universe in stasis, you're going to need bottled time. Brush up on its limitations. There are some tricky aspects, 
especially if the universe was fully functional when it was thrown into stasis. Thanks. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, one more thing. The other universe that's been turned off is called Orens. You know anything about it? Actually, I do. The designer was an alien named Nizam Rokhtar. Do you know her? No, no. Can you uh, tell me anything about her? Not much. She's good at what she does. A bit vain, I've heard, but then aren't we all? <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. I'll uh, let you know how it turns out. Jester, my sweet. See if you can find me a contact number for an alien named Nizam Rokhtar. I'm on it. Hey, do you really think I'm sweet? Busy artist. Universe is awake my awakening touch. Honorable Nizam Rakta, I am Rene Corda. Charlie Bell suggested that I call you. Rene Corda, I have heard of you. Before you retired, you set some jewels in the heavens. But why does Charlie Bell wish you to trouble me? I have nothing in common with him beyond our mutual profession. I am researching a difficult situation. Two universes, Herbs and Arms, have been put into unauthorized stasis. Charlie says you designed Arms. Anything you can tell me may help to reactivate the universe and find the criminal responsible. Truly, I would not deny one of my children, but Arms is in the care of her new owner. I have nothing to say about my desert child. Ah, Honorable Rokhtar, you were too kind when you spoke of my poor works as jewels. Compared to the beauties of your universes, they are poor, rough stones. I would enjoy knowing more about your works for purely aesthetic reasons. Desert design is difficult. There is an art to the subtle arrangement of sand, rock, and plant life. It is a minimalistic art rather than the flashy, overblown styles of other terrains. I am certain. Your control at hearing that Orens has been shut down is admirable. You must be horrified. I am not happy. God's pockets paid me well for the job. Even though some of the design specifications were peculiar, the work is up to my high standards. God's pockets. Hmm. This God's Pockets must be an aesthetically sophisticated organization to have chosen both you and a desert world. Do you know how I might get in touch with them? No. They ordered Orens, paid me well, and then vanished. I believe that Clea Terrific was hired to do five other universes. Those must not have needed your unique touch. It must be difficult to hide a world key for a desert universe. You would lack the expanses of water or dense forests so many use to conceal such a sensitive item. For some, perhaps, but for me it is a matter of art. I believe in placing the key in a place that, while difficult to penetrate, is in harmony with the greater purpose of the universe design. So for Orens, you would place it in a pile of sand? Orens is indebted both to the desert and to the Arabian Nights. I have set the key with it. Oh, but that would be giving away too much. You have a resonance tracer and a direction finder, do you not? So you intend to make me work for my pay, do you? Locating the key shall be easy enough with those devices and your legendary skills. Perhaps it will be. Thank you for this opportunity to speak with you about your art. I leave your company enriched. Farewell. Jester. I've already looked up the contact number for Clea Triffitt, Cordicute. You were uh, eavesdropping? I live to serve you, O oh great and mighty creator of universes. You serve well, Jester. Just don't eavesdrop. Now, connect me to Clea Triffitt. Hello, this is Renee Corda. May I speak with Clea Triffitt? I regret to inform you that Clea Triffitt is no longer alive. I am in charge of her estate.
very sorry to hear of her death. I am researching some of her projects, specifically universes she may have designed for an organization called God's Pockets. I am sorry, but that is confidential information. Even though Clea Terrific is no longer alive, I am still bound by the ethics of her profession. I knew I was going to regret helping draft those rules a few centuries back. Sir, uh, I am not in a position to divulge full details, but I need to know whatever I can about Clea Terrific's work in order to save the lives of hundreds of thousands of sentient beings. Certainly, if you feel the need to keep confidential information for your employers, then you should understand my need to keep confidential information for my client. Oh, I do, sir. While I cannot divulge particulars, I can tell you that the Terran Regional Government will be grateful for any information you may give, grateful enough that they would rule favorably if a question of confidentiality is raised. Well, I suppose it is not violating confidentiality to confirm that Clea Terrific did design five universes for God's pockets. Five universes? Are you certain? Yes. They were listed in the files as Fortuna, Jungen, Cabal, Verdry, and Dice. Anything else about them listed in those files? No. In fact, the files themselves were destroyed in a massive fire shortly before Clea's death. She never spoke to me about the jobs. Once, when I asked her about them, she said that she was afraid that she had learned too much about God's pockets in the course of designing the universes. I see. Well, thank you very much for your help. You are free to act or speak as you wish. We know your thoughts and shall pass our judgment in time. I advise you to prepare for death. Why did we need a trespasser and a spy? I am not a spy. I am a 
trained creator of pocket universes. Not only can I find who has invaded your universe, I can help make your universe proof against future invasions. Interesting. Perhaps we should review your qualifications. Honored sentients, I specialize in creating pocket universes. I was sent to restart your universe. I humbly beg leave of you to continue on my mission to locate the creature who has done this to you. You are a most honorable professional. We release you to continue searching for the solution to this mystery. No use going back there, boss. The place is out of stasis, and they didn't seem too happy with your visit the first time around. You have a good point there. We'll try somewhere else. There's a bottle sitting right where we want to put the resonance tracer. Magnetic North is nearby, but this isn't the location. It must be obscured by something. Excuse me, I hate to disturb you, but you're standing where I need to set up my resonance tracer. Feed us! The dates of fasting! Feed us! Sounds like they're hungry, Sugar Pop. Where shall I find this fruit you require? The oasis of the seasons. Do you accept the challenge? I do if you swear to move and allow me to use my equipment upon my return. Agree! You 
must bring the dates of fasting. Six pieces for six chin. So that your journey to the oasis of the seasons will be a swift and pleasant one. We shall summon our flying carpet to take you there. to be away from them for a while. It talks. It does. Really cute. Well, at least it didn't call me Sugar Pop. Hmm. The Jinn are powerful creatures. How long have you obeyed their orders? Since the beginning of time. We are as old as the universe, the Jinn and I. Quite hungry, your masters. Why can't they feed themselves? Or send you for the dates they need? I have no hands with which to pick fruit, and they are too proud to gather food. Your masters, will they honor their word to me? Yes. Cruel and stupid though they are, they honor their word. They do appear a bit gruff, although perhaps a little lacking in mental agility. I wonder that they do not rule this world. Like all things, they have their limits. They know if they get too unruly, Sheik Twister would take their magic turban, and with the words Juniper and return, send them back to their bottle.
Feed us! You have returned with the dates! Feed us! Patience, I'll give you these dates I've brought with me. Dates of fasting. Patience, I'll give you these dates I brought with. right where we want to put the resonance tracer. Who the... Excuse me, I hate to disturb you, but you're standing where I need to set up my resonance tracer. Feed us! The dates are fasting! Feed us! Sounds like they're hungry, Sugar Pop. Where shall I find this fruit you require? The oasis of the seasons. Do you accept the challenge? I do if you swear to move and allow me to use my equipment upon my return. Agree! You must bring the dates of fasting. Six pieces for six gin. So that your journey to the oasis of the seasons will be a swift and pleasant one. to be away from them for a while. It talks. It does. Really cute. Well, at least it didn't call me Sugar Pop. Hmm. The Jinn are powerful creatures. How long have you obeyed their orders? Since the beginning of time, 
We are as old as the universe, the Jen and I. They seem quite hungry, your masters. Why can't they feed themselves? Or send you for the dates they need? I have no hands with which to pick fruit. And they are too proud to gather food. Your masters, will they honor their word to me? Yes. Cruel and stupid though they are, they honor their word. They do appear a bit gruff, although perhaps a little lacking in mental agility. I wonder that they do not rule this world. Like all things, they have their limits. They know if they get too unruly, Sheik Twist would take their magic turban, and with the words Juniper and Return, Send them back to their bottle. have returned with the dates. Feed us! Patience, I'll give you these dates I've brought with me. We are still hungry. Feed us more of the dates of fasting. Patience, I'll give you these dates I've brought with me. We are still hungry. Feed us more of the dates of fasting. Patience, I'll give We are still hungry. Feed us. We are patient. your part of the bargain. We shall now return to our bottle.
Good work! With the information I've downloaded from the tracer, the resonance field is in place. Your direction finder will now aid you in finding the world key. My kingdom for an ice cube. There's a bottle sitting right where we want to put the resonance tracer.
Excuse me, I hate to disturb you, but you're standing where I need Feed to... us! The... Sounds like they're... Where do you wait? I do... Finally, some water. I don't often get... Mm. Mm. Your man... Yeah. They do a... Like... Feed us! You have returned with the dates! Feed us! Patience, I'll give you these dates I brought with me. We are still... Pa we are sp I can't hear. We are sp Good man. You have fulfilled your part of the bargain. We shall now return to our bot. Great, just great. Now I got sand in my boots.
This is a big bridge. No bones about it. You have been sleeping for 24 hours. This is no time to be sleeping on the job. By the way, the tarantula wandered off. I hope that feather is the only thing falling. This isn't getting any closer. We don't seem to be getting anywhere. Perhaps we should turn back. Are you injured, sir? That whirlwind looks dangerous. Is dangerous. Terrible way to travel. In those clothes, you'll be torn to bits. You mean to tell me that that desert twister is a transportation device? Well, it's not a flying camel. Now, let me rest.
can't use that here. I can't use that here. You probably shouldn't waste your bottle time so frivolously. You probably shouldn't waste your bottle time so frivolously. I hang it. Stay here for